Good evening. The news. ABSA has confirmed that a list of its clients have been subject of attacks on the debit card over the last week. Acting Managing Director Akhtar Mahmoud says that the bank's fraud system successfully intercepted 10 online merchants they say are based in the United States and were attempting to withdraw money from clients' accounts without permission. Mr. Mahmoud says, however, that a few clients' accounts were affected and that their balance will be reinstated. Last week, we found that um, there has been certain attempt from unauthorized um, uh, website uh, trying to uh, to take uh, like unauthorized payment from certain accounts. So fortunate for, for us, our system picked it, pick it up immediately, and we managed to ensure that um, you know we 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 counter part most of this transaction. Unfortunately. Some of this transaction has gone through, and what we are doing right now, uh, we are trying our best to ensure that all these accounts that was unfortunately impacted, which we want to really um, uh, apologize for that, to restore these balances as it should be. Um, but nevertheless, I'm using these opportunities to reiterate the, to, to all the clients and non, also non clients to ensure whenever they are using um, online shopping, they only use. Um, verify an authentic uh, website and, and, and protect their data uh, from, from the web and use only those which are secured. A group of uh, citizens has called for the retirement age to be the same for everyone, whether constitutionally appointed or an ordinary employee. The Association for the Promotion of Peace and Respect in the Community, based in Saint Louis, held a public meeting yesterday to get the, the, the opinion of the public on the issue of setting the same retirement age for everyone. About 20 people took part in the debate in the presence of two members of the National Assembly from the Central Region. The debate was led by Mr. Donald Ernester and other members of the Executive Committee of the association. The meeting is part of the association's efforts to standardize the retirement age. It plans to submit a copy of its report to the National Assembly soon before the debates on retirement age begin. The Science, Technology and Innovation Division, ex NISTI, will be doing a survey on research and development. This will require the participation of organizations, businesses and the higher education sector. The Science, Technology and Innovation Division says the level of a country's development depends on the amount of finance and energy spent in data collection, which can help attract foreign investors in the country. Country. We want to make sure that the data that we collect um, uh, is reflected of, of the number of uh, people in the private sector, is reflected in, uh, in the, the, the NGOs because uh, the data is used for policy making and decision making. So it is important that when we use this data for policy and decision making, it, it features um, maximum information from people out there that we are going to make those policies and decisions for. If you have not been contacted, kindly contact uh, the office on 282-2458. A German couple who are visiting Seychelles for the first time were welcomed on their arrival at the International Airport this morning by the Principal Secretary for Tourism, Mrs. Shirin Francis. One of the two was, in fact, the 114,859th visitor to disembark in Seychelles this year, setting a new record compared to the number of visitors to the country for the whole of last year, which which was 114,858 visitors. Mrs. Francis said that such an achievement is important for the tourism sector in the country and expects the number of visitors landing in Seychelles to continue to increase in the coming months. The Digua and the community of Petit Co in France will be able to make exchange trips, organize and implement projects and activities in various fields. A twinning agreement between the two localities was signed 
In a virtual ceremony at Maison Keo de Quincy this morning, Petitco is a community in Normandy, France. The agreement was signed by Patrice Philippe, mayor of Petitco, and De David André, mayor of Victoria. Present at the signing were the Minister for Foreign Affairs and Tourism, Sylvestre Degonde, the Minister for Local Government and Community Affairs, Rosemarie Waro, members of the National Assembly for La Digue, Rocky Urani, and Nolin Sofola, and senior government officials. Miss Seychelles 2020 Kelly Marianette left the country this weekend for Egypt, where she will participate in the 49th Miss Intercontinental Beauty Pageant. The pageant will be hosted in the Sunrise Grand Select Diamond Beach Resort, a five-star hotel in Sharm El Sheikh from the 14th to the 30th of October. Participants aged 18 to 27 years from 80 countries are taking part. We've come to the end of this news summary. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more news in Creole at 8 p.m.